statement even though i've got a different sister we're all from different we're all <laughs> sisters from different misters i'm down with it <coughs> and a cold gifted to me by my actual sibling still not convinced my mother had the right idea when she said i needed a sister 36 years in i'm still not sold on this concept people i think i would have been fine <laughs> as an only child no nah, it's fine she's been trying to make me sick all winter she finally managed to do it and it took her four colds and three flus and i caught the last cold i'm glad you avoided the flus they're definitely worse i get the flu shot every year and it's worth it. Believe so it or not, this is a knitting podcast. <laughs> but we do have a nursing student. <laughs> we do have a nursing student with us today. Uh, I took the week off last week. Uh, we were on vacation. Diana is currently in the zoo Europe on her honeymoons. But Red kindly volunteered to fill in Hello. so that we wouldn't be two weeks quiet for you guys. So this will be a regularly scheduled podcast. Yes, with Terry. With Terry instead <laughs> of uh, with Diana, which is totally cool because when she's on summer break, I might haul her in as often as she'll let me to be three instead of two. Well, I'm also on, well, as you're saying, I'm on your summer break, so why not? Because, my God, you guys, this Dutch knits is amazing. So, we have that. We're going to run through a couple of quick public service announcements or some PSAs real swiftly for people, and then we'll get into the stuff we're actually here for, which is the knitting content. Uh, voice aside, I am almost over my cold. <laughs> Since I came down with it on Friday afternoon, and it is now Sunday afternoon, I'm doing really well with my turnaround time. One more day of rest, and I should be good to go, which is good. I'm going to send out a bunch of love and hearts, and thank you guys. Uh, Mother's Day, just this past week, if you don't follow us on Instagram, or on the other public medias of the socialness, uh, which we can be found as the Northern Knits Podcast everywhere, we're on brand, folks. All (laughs) the time. Uh, My grandmother passed away on Mother's Day, so... It is what it is, and it happens. Um, Her celebration of life service is on Tuesday. So Terry has kindly stepped in and has been doing a bunch of the social media for me so I could just step back and be what is now hip deep in family. Uh, I'm going to be shortly head deep in family. (laughs) Because while I may not have a lot of immediate family, my goodness, do we have a lot of cousins and extras out there. And we're expecting and have confirmed anywhere from 150 to 250 people for my grandmother's celebration of life. My grandmother was a huge social lady and a huge personality and she will be greatly missed by everybody but like i'm friends on facebook with her best friend who is her maid of honor <laughs> so we can Guys. see where jocelyn, jocelyn got her uh, you, socialness i come by it honestly she does. and inherited it quite well <laughs> uh so i've been dealing a lot with that so i do apologize if there's been any delays and stuff i've just i've been sort of focused elsewhere for the moment and doing some other things uh, so that's that's happening. It's uh, my niece's first big family death. So we're sort of trying to structure it so she's got the concept in her head and it's not as stressful as it could be. Hopefully it doesn't affect her school too much. She seems to be doing okay, Like, but we'd been coaching it for a while because we knew grandma was sick for a long time. She had uh, pulmonary fibrosis. And, you know, you would hear me talk about my grandma, but... Not everybody knew she was sick because she didn't really want anybody outside of the immediate family knowing how sick she was. She's fair. So, I mean, thankfully she wasn't in pain until, like, that last little stretch. So, like, in which case, I take comfort in that. Yeah, in which case it's it's good that the end was quicker because then she didn't have to suffer. Um, all of us have just were really glad that when she did that final fade, it was... She fell on the Friday. She went into um, palliative care Saturday morning, and she was gone Sunday afternoon. So she wasn't even palliative care for over 24 hours. Which, in the long run, is nice. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. like as far as it was, she was at home with her husband for as long as absolutely possible. So my grandpa's doing okay. He's sort of making his way through things. Uh, being the go-getter A-type personality profile, that, by the way, is all grandpa. Uh, and my father, uh, I've been doing a lot. <laughs> so my family does know how to stay still. My mom's family is great at staying still. My dad's family absolutely <laughs> sucks at it. So uh, since I've been home to Winnipeg on Wednesday, 
uh, which, by the way, we stayed at a hotel two nights in a row, and my mom was mad that I didn't have a swimsuit, so a swimsuit had to be bought post-haste, because mom wanted a swimming partner. Best and decision ever. I love swimming. I want a beach partner this summer. Oh, yeah. Beach partner's making sun hats, because neither one of us can do sun. Yeah, uh, you can't tell. It's lovely skin color. <laughs> Your natural peaches and cream and my ability to get heat stroke? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I am a I am a sad, sad matey human being. I can't I can't do the sun, I can't do heat, and I can't eat corn. So it's, I got, it's a perfect mix. A, I, a bad matey who can't do sun I and a ginger. Tri- I can't. I can't. I should and my mom is so flabbergasted we're not in, in Inuit because I love the cold and the dark. I cannot I heat stroke every year, guys, like like freaking clockwork. Uh, and she I, does. And she I, really does. And I can't. And I can't eat corn. I just. I am a very poor Native American, Indigenous First Nation. I, I got a card. Like I have the proof. And if you've ever seen photos of my mother, she is very clearly Aboriginal, <laughs> which is delightful for me because I forget. And sometimes we'll be out in public and doing stuff, and I'll call her mom. Nobody knows who I'm talking to. <laughs> She's also so much shorter than you. My mom. Okay, listen. I went out with my mom and my aunt Jerry. Now my aunt Geraldine is my mom's aunt, so she's my great aunt. I like to live, so I don't call her that in person, because I don't need to have anything thrown at my head. My Aunt Geraldine is almost completely blind. We all have the same disease. My mom is legally blind, but she sees better than I do. I'm legally blind, and I see worse than my mom does. So you have three generations of women with sticks, right? Oh my, my Aunt Geraldine is just about four foot eight. My mom is just about five foot five, and I am five eleven. I am a foot taller than my great Aunt Geraldine. So, so when, I go, when I go out in public, I'm out with two very small women who don't look anything like me, who proceed to boss me around like they're my family because they are. Uh, it was, I was, oh, it was so much fun. And my poor dad took us to the Mary Barn. He was chasing three blind women. At least two of us don't move very fast, so it helped. He wasn't looking at me though. I was gone. <laughs> She moves fast. <laughs> On the bright side, he knows he knew where to find me, which was in the food stocks at the berry barn in the little store. Yeah. Because that's where I found the pineapple drizzle I can put on my food that's corn free and sulfate free, so it's terry safe too. And uh, some It's only because uh, they didn't jam. have a yarn section. It's, yes, <laughs> it's actually because they don't have a yarn section. And my favorite summer dressing, which is their uh, Saskatoon berry vinaigrette dressing, so which is so freaking good. But anyway. But it sounds like you had a nice trip. It was a good trip up to up to the end of it. So yeah. it, it is what it is, and you know that's life. It is. And after you know Wednesday this week, I'm only going to be knee deep in family, not head deep in family. Which is why we are recording at my house today, mm-hmm. is to give Jocelyn a break from her house. Mm-hmm. Because it's just a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and this cold is kicking my teeth. Anyway, sisters, I'm not entirely sure why I needed one. I'm pretty sure I told my mother I'm sure I don't need one. I am the little sister, so... She gave me one can't. anyway. But I have an older brother, and we get along pretty well, so... <laughs> I, I love my sister to bits. I just, you know, when she shares her cold, I keep kind of reminded that that's not necessary. Yeah, I'm glad I don't live with my brother. Because <laughs> I'd probably kill him. Yeah, we get along fine. It's not a problem. I just... It makes some things easier, and it, it means compromises on other things. And, you know, it's interesting. My brother-in-law's amazing. He's... Always very apologetic when he turns the light off on a mount late. He's, yeah, he's a tough guy. He is, I, I actually went to high school with him. He was actually in my graduating class. Yes, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Oh, well. At least you know him. I do. My sister and him never hung out in high school and they got married later. Sure. What do I know? We went to the same high school, guys. She's only two years my junior. That's fine. <laughs> same, same gap as my, huh? me and my brother. Huh? So, and I have funny. finished the first row of lace. Oh, beautiful. Or the first repeat of lace. Oh, shall we tell everybody what we're drinking? Oh, yes, we should. Because uh, we're Canadian. <laughs> no, because Canadian. I forgot to clean my French press out last night, and I only have I only have coffee beans right now, and oh. I needed a coffee. <laughs> so we stopped at Tim Hortons one on the way here, because I went and picked her up. Um, I don't like Tim Hortons' original blend. I'm actually very anti-Canadian. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, so. I don't. <laughs> I can do the Tim Hortons dark roast in a pinch if I have to, if it's creamed and sugared, and I don't like cream in my coffee for the most part. So that tells you what I think. somewhere else. It's fine. (laughs) It was on the way. It'll do. So I have a dark roast double double. And I don't own a coffee machine, so I couldn't. Well, it's because you don't drink coffee. So I'm drinking tea. (laughs) They're poorly named steep tea, tea, because we're discussing. All tea is steeped. Oh so basically, Lord. if you're not Canadian, it's just black tea. tea. Yeah. That's quite strong. It's just black. Yeah. What? I don't, I don't get it either. No, don't get I me like wrong. It, but... I love the Tim Hortons green tea. 
Yeah, it's actually quite nice. I quite yeah. enjoy their green tea, but I, I had I needed caffeine, I guess. Phaedra was up at five in the morning, oh. arguing with my dad over why she was on the wrong side of the bathroom door. <laughs> I, my husband works out of town, so I mostly live alone, and as my husband just put it, nursing students shouldn't live with other people because we're crazy, mm -hmm. and we have insane hours. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my, my pets have fortunately learned to uh, not wake me up as much as they used to. <laughs> I would she them. only she only gets mad if she's on the outside of the bathroom when you close the bathroom door. Oh, and she's go to the bathroom then. No, oh. she just prefers to be in the bathroom with you while oh. you're going because you might do something like turn on the water tap and then she's not in there to play with the water. Okay, my cats do that too, but since I live alone, I don't shut the doors off. Yeah, my cats. dad was is just... literally sharing my one bedroom apartment space in the basement with me, and he sleeps on the couch. That's <laughs> right, so he's got no privacy unless he's closed the bathroom door. So, uh, that's fair, that's fair. When my husband she is just home, has the door to shuts. With it. Yeah. She just has to deal with it. He and doesn't you know take what? that long. She will survive. She, you know, she doesn't think she will, but she has she... every time up till now. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. It's a Shall thing. we talk about our finished yes. objects, our cool threads? Let's talk about the things we're wearing and the things we're knitting. Oh, I don't actually have anything on. I'm going to put something on, that's why. It's because you have a finished object you're going to put on. I, I... I'm just wearing my Katie shawl. I thought that was appropriate because I watched Cozy Up Knits, so congratulations. Because uh, uh, the last of the sisters is getting married. She got yes. engaged. I haven't so, seen this week's podcast, unfortunately. That's okay. I also saw the other things. And there's... Thank you for Sarah for making yet another shawl I need to cast on immediately. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is my life, guys. There's going to be 50 million jump cuts because i got to blow my nose a lot. It's okay. Nobody wants to watch that. Nope. <laughs> I was like, they're not going to see that. They won't. They'll, they'll always be the cut and then... We're back. So. We're back. <laughs> it's a thing. Oh, all the whole way through, you guys. I'm getting rid of the last of this quilt. So, Terry has a uh, finished FO. I had an, an I had an FO, and then I've already ripped it out. Because it was the first and second round of the shawl I'm designing. So, what you guys see is balls of yarn. <laughs> yes. Should I actually, since we just mentioned the yeah, Cozy Up Knits? Let's do it. So, I haven't woven in the ends or blocked it yet, but I did partake in the Cozy Up Knits um, knit along for April. Yeah. With there not a lot of rain in April. April. Um, because I am a brat, I chose, I did the one section of garter, and then I actually decided that I preferred just the lace. So, I actually hats. finished it in the lace, and it's just kind of like a really, I'm not going to lie, my mom is already excited that it's hers. But oh, jeez. Yeah, your she, mom's like my mom. Yeah, because she really likes the colors. <laughs> They're nice colors. Yeah. Which so, yarn was this one? Um, you know what? This is something that I knit into another shawl that I oh, hated. I did, right. And, and, you, I and ended it up, had the ball that was twice the size of my head. It was literally this big of a ball. It was about four balls of yarn. It's just like Michael's yarn. It's but, like... That's fine. Yeah. It just makes this washable and wearable. Yeah, it's just like a scurfy yeah. style yarn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's well, just so good on your mom. And you know what? It's nice. Just like cold day, you can use it as like a lap blanket oh, or something like that. I'm buying four skeins of Daria Cloud9 Fiberworks yarn in the fall at the Manitoba Fiberfest, and I'm doing another Not A Lot of Rain in April and her yeah. worsted because she does amazing variegated skeins, and I feel Ooh. like one of her blue-purple skeins, or even some Blood of My Enemies, which is a black-red, which will drive me nuts, but I feel like that needs to happen with my white winter coat. Yes! That would look amazing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. These amazing. things have to happen, people. Although, I do want to point out in the background, since y'all can see it right now. This, this is, is a tiger. No, the shawl. This, oh, this, this is my first one. This is Jocelyn's first pattern that you can actually see. I'm going to pull it closer. So, Jocelyn... Jerry may have done it at a heavier weight than Yeah, me. Jocelyn, like a normal person, cast on her shawl in a fingering way, where I was like, I have this bulky that I love. It's, um, it's a, it's called I'm just Terry... Terry gets my shawl patterns when they're literally a series of notes and guesswork, and she's willing to just bear with me while I work it out because she can't wait for me to do it on my own. I take too long. She does. She's I already bugging me about shawl. ones. She's already bugging me about ones. I haven't even written down the short little like cast on and then a blank because I don't even know how many cast on stitches to do yet. I know. I'm terrible. I'm I either the a, best I, I, or the worst test knitter ever. I have pretty pictures and I've got some notes kind of aligned and that's it. And Terry's like, give really, it to me. <laughs> you can really see the pat. Well, I don't know if you can see the pattern. Great. This one. Oh, what did I end up really, calling this one? It's the Northern Plains shawl. Oh, it is the Northern. Thank you. I yes, remember my own shawl. Because base. to me, it really reminds me of wheat blowing in the wind. And you can, oh, you can really see it at this angle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, one of my girlfriends, it reminded them of uh, the uh, river up to the rock beds up north. Totally. 
Especially, yeah, which especially is especially in your colorway with the blue yeah. and the gray. With the blues, yeah. yeah, yeah. So mine's it yellow. Looks good so in, it looks good. It looks like blue. wheat. Yeah, yeah. But I but, love your color, the green, it. the green, yellow. And quite I honestly, I have to do mine in a worsted because I love the weight on this one. Me too, and I love how the detailing pops. Oh yeah, absolutely. And like quite so honestly, good. it's such a warm shawl. I, it's one of my favorite shawls just because it's so heavy. It's the only really heavy one I have. This is probably you live one of in a my... place that gets to minus forty Celsius. Yeah. A warm shawl is terribly necessary. And like, even taking it to school and using it as like a lap oh, blanket while you're it's studying, absolutely amazing. Oh. Even in class, uh -huh, I, uh -huh. I knit in class because like my teachers give really good notes, so I knit a lot in class. Part of the reason why I knit so much. So I'm mean, utilizing so much. the skill swap. I'm making her a crochet coat. She's already got the pattern picked out. She just needs to get the yarn, and she's knitting me a black cardigan. You guys. I am. I'm trying to convince her to like pick some like lace or something in there. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Or my she'll be fine. I have no idea what she wants. I don't know. I don't. I want the night veil yarn. I want the night veil. Not gonna lie, I'm excited to work with it. <laughs> I know. I'm excited for you to work at it too. I just don't know what black color combo I want. Do I want black yellow, black red, black purple, black orange? Because it would all look good on me. Black yellow I don't know. might be too bumblebee. Uh, no, what it is is it's black over dyed with yellow. So it oh, just has okay. Of, so it has it's okay. black, but it has flecks of different undercolor. And I'm thinking oh, black okay. with flecks of the under orange or under red because it that looks would be quite good on me. Stunning. Okay, so, then I actually like the yellow idea. I was uh -huh. just like. I don't want I gotta, to look I gotta like a show big old bumblebee. No, no, no. I gotta show you. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to look like a big old bumblebee either. My cat will hunt me. <sighs> Mom, you look like a toy. Not the greatest look. Uh -uh. It's Ooh. funny. So what are your Slightly finished conscious. objects? Uh, I have half of a pot holder done. <laughs> I actually really like the idea of this pot holder. It's really nice. All right, so my go figure... If you uh, have low vision or no vision, you use your hands a lot to touch. It's a, it's a sensory thing. So you have raised buttons to tell you where the three is on your microwave so you can find the rest of your buttons on your keypad. Uh, they're literally clear little sticky things you can put on stuff that you can push and it'll fingertip register through the clear button for you. Yeah. So cool, right? Great. Except what happens if you burn your hands? <laughs> Disaster. It's super screwed. <laughs> you really, you use them a lot. So my mom's pot holders were looking super, like super sad. Uh, so I am literally making her, and I'm going to double layer this. So this is literally a crocheted square. Uh, and like 30 stitches long because it's I'm making her the big one first. I like how maker. the variegated turned out in my yard. <laughs> it, this it's is just, it's nice. literally the Burnett's handcrafter cotton yeah. because it is such a workhorse cotton for mm -hmm. me. It's yes. what I make my scrubby dishcloths out of because yes. it's really freaking good. So I'm literally going to make another one the exact same size. So it's doubled and I'm going to uh, crochet them together with a nice border. But what Terry can do that you guys can't because we don't have filo vision yet. We need filo vision is when it's doubled up, that's what that pot holder is going to do. Yeah. It's just single crochet, you But, guys. like, there's no way that, like... like I won't... Yeah. She, my, my great aunt won't cinch her fingers, my mom won't, and, and let's be honest, I can make them for myself a double thick, because then I can microwave something really hot and stick it on my lap with the hot pad underneath, which, and my leg doesn't get warm. Which is insane. <laughs> you know what? Because who doesn't want to eat a hot bowl of soup on a couch? Uh, you know, every once in a while, the hot bowl of soup on the couch is the way to go. You're talking so. about, like, the clumsiest eater in the world, oh, so... <laughs> I wear white, so I'm not quite as clumsy as I claim to be when it comes to food. It's part of the reason why I don't like going through drive throughs is because I can't eat in the car. I can do a powdered donut without making a mess oh, in the car. Oh, I wish. I'm, like, My like dad child. is very impressed. He was like, you can get it all over my truck. I'm like, I won't. You get it all over my truck. If not, I ate a powdered donut, a... you'd see powder, like, here. Oh, no. Like... <laughs> You, you have no eyeshadow on. Like, oh, it's ridiculous. Crazy. I have no idea how I do it. I need a table in oh, front of me, gosh. and I'm eating a sandwich. That's like, so it's, funny. It's embarrassing. It's hilarious. Uh, by the way, I, can, I can't I can eat spaghetti unless I'm wearing white, because if I do, I'm just wearing it. That's so funny. So you're more careful when you're wearing white. That or, it, Mom considers it my plot armor. Oh, okay. That my, would do my too. My white is my plot armor. Literally, Literally like, the like, main characters and the plots for yeah. TVs and stuff it's is true. plot armor. Yeah, because you can never get hurt if you're wearing white. Yeah. I just she should just always wear white. That's what I would do. Me, on the other hand, I wear a lot of dark colors. <laughs> I also have a lot of dark colored pets. Oh, I had to finish that coffee. It was getting kind of cool. Ugh. Yeah, my tea oh, does. Coffee. doesn't matter as much if tea gets cold. Not as much as coffee. Coffee's quite temperamental in their colorations. All right. What is? Because you had another finished object, didn't you? Well, I was gonna have my finished oh, my first sweater. Oh yeah. Uh, which uh, I'm wearing my kinship. 
Uh, but it is not finished, and there's a bit of a drama with that, so I might leave that one to the end, so we can talk about that. Should we talk about my next finish? We episode? should finish your Which next Which is why episode. I'm not wearing any knitted items, just because this bad boy. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to trip myself. Here. You're going to trip yourself? Yeah. Well, there's why a ball of yarn going that? across. Okay, so I'm That's okay. Up. We're going to do a jump cut so that I can blow my nose again. Well, so I've been making the Comfort Fade Cardi by uh, Andrew Mowry, obviously, except I decided to, wow, that's a lot of yellow. Um, that's a lot of yellow. <laughs> weirdly enough, I don't actually knit with hot colors oh, that often, no. but I decided to make mine not faded, like not like subtle at all. I went extremely loud. <laughs> I love the loud though. Like everybody does the super soft fade. So I love how bright that mine is. Mine is kind of atrociously mm -hmm. bright. You guys, it's helped me make the decision on mine. Uh, Miss C bought me the comfort fade cardi pattern for my birthday this year, so and I've and I've like nope, nope. That pumpkin spice orange from Ancient Art Yarns can be beautiful. I think I'm gonna make I'm my base of that. I'm gonna go like, from there. Some like toggles or something. Cause like I or um one I, of those um you see the circle wooden shawl pins where you latch the wood loop. Yeah, through? that would work too. I think that would work because really like well too. I well you can see I With literally I literally cast it off last night. There's so like been no woven in it. There's no woven in it. <laughs> but like I I like closing mine so. Yeah, I think we like because you get the little wood circle ones. You see them yeah. all the time in the fiber follicles that we go yeah. to and with the wooden stuff. Maybe at the yeah. blue hills. Yeah. And just like, oh yeah, we might have a nice one blue hills. Yeah, that's all I want. I think that'd be great. Yeah, I know. It's because like. Yeah, because I don't want too much because it's so loud. <laughs> we don't need it to be any more. No, I think a nice neutral wood color would yeah, be Yeah, I know. And I'm not totally Time convinced. To I'm not convinced that it doesn't clash with my hair yet, but I think I don't care. I think it's fine, but okay. <laughs> crazy. I'm like, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to boil because it's actually really warm out today. It is. We got the windows cranked. It's, I've already yeah. taken off the cage shawl. I'm like, we've warm. already, like, I opened all the doors and everything. You guys, I left early spring and came home to summer. Diana will be so happy. Oh yeah, she's gonna come home to summer. She's gonna come home to summer and she'll be super happy. So don't worry, in my super sexy Ziploc bag. <laughs> Somebody needs to make some bags. <sighs> Somebody needs to be home without her father ripping apart her laundry room for more than 24 hours. I love how you kind of threw the shawl here. Yeah, I just, I'm there, done. There's actually a knitted thing underneath, it's but it's warm. just like a comfort. Well, it's, I'm just just a, it's just a lap blanket. <laughs> but I tend to just sort of toss things behind me, find What's them my... later. I mean, it looked great with my blue shirt and my white and blue flowered cardigan. Love but uh, never fear, I am making another Northern Radiance. This one is going to be for several things all at once. But I'm using some Creek Garden Craft Pima Cotton because, guys, it's summertime. I'm doing it out of hibiscus and hibiscus flowers. So the heavily variegated is hibiscus flowers and this beautiful, cheerful mofo pink. That is a cheerful coral mofo pink. Yeah, it's way brighter than mine. Oh yeah, super bright. Uh, it's going to be my solid. Are we actually showing or is it more of a secret? No, we can show now. Okay. I've had people phone in about testing and I want to get a little bit farther just to double check to make sure all of the math I've done is correct. And then I will be sending out patterns to test knitters. Mm -hmm. But here is the start again. Is it perfect? No. You guys, you're not going to notice when it's done. Like, I don't I don't expect perfection. Terry will whip out like a crazy person. I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. This, by the way, is on two different sized needles. Mm -hmm. You can barely tell the difference in the density. <laughs> yeah, it's cr like, uh... like so she knits so tight. It's crazy. Like, literally, she's got like double the needle. I have a four millimeter needle, and the density of my honeycomb slip stitch is yeah. not that much different from uh, so Terry's. Like and Terry's minor. like... On a two millimeter or two yeah. point five. Sorry, millimeter? my needles say US. So she's on a US six, I'm on a US four. So you're a two point five, two point seven five yeah. millimeter, yeah. Ish, yeah. 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 I don't so I'm just it. like, oh man. Yes. But this is a little denser than mine, but yes. don't my watch. You'll get the pattern after oh, I have um edited God. the bejesus out of it because I'm like, I don't like how you worded this and I change things. Right now it says thank inspirational thank you at the top. I'm kinda tempted to leave that. Inspirational don't thank you. I think it's hilarious. So you can see my yarn. I oh, I suck at pronouncing the Steyer's name. Oh. It's the man. Oh. Jusha Farms. Manjusha, Manjusha Farms. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tammy Ivanko is the one who dyes it. I I love her yarns. I like I love her. her. Nice yarns. I think she does. We've given away some of her yarns. She said some prize yarns and oh, stuff. Has yeah. She? Well, because we got her stuff for the with the prairie that she did for last year's Manitoba Fiber Festival. Totally. Yeah. yeah we gave away some I, of her stuff. So. Like love her stuff, and it's yeah. so nice to work in. Anyway, so both That's of mine are Manjuka Farms. She, I noticed she doesn't 
always name her colorways? She doesn't always know. <laughs> So and you know what? That's a personal choice. You yeah. don't have to. This one's called Crush It, and I'm doing it in like a pink, mm -hmm. and so that's my main color. And my variegated <laughs> has no name, um, so that's fine. But I actually, so Funny Jocelyn's, eating. Jocelyn's are like really dramatically different, where mine almost fade together a little Jocelyn bit. Jocelyn likes a high contrast, which is weird because you look at my so faded Cardi, and it's like contrasty city. But anyway, that's okay. You yeah, need so blending it's actually, shawls to go with your contrasty sweaters. Yeah, exactly. So this one actually fades like a lot different because like oh, in certain gosh, areas, absolutely. the variegators actually same color as the main color. So, so mine is gonna be a way smaller shawl, like way smaller. But it's kind of nice, I think, to be able to see the difference. Yeah, Just I think like, for well, the, that, I mean, um, you can you if you were to aggressively block, you'll get a lot of. Drop I'm going to aggressively block, block this, yeah. but like I love this pattern. It's so nice to make, and I love how it's working up. I yeah. like that mindless, not mindless knitting. Yeah, that dangle charm from Jocelyn for Christmas. Yay, so. <laughs> I gave out charms for Christmas. I felt like it needed to go on this one. Don't worry, I already know what I'm making everyone for Christmas this year. I do too. I found a pattern online and I love it so much. I haven't started yet. <laughs> it's actually crocheted and I'm not the strongest oh crocheter. Gosh. I know. I was like... You're not, you're not a crochet person like I am. I know, which is so weird because last year my gifts were crocheted as well. I didn't make any noise that time. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, but like last year I made like these little uh, makeup cases with little like, makeup removers. I'm not telling her what I'm making this year because it's going to be a surprise. It's a surprise, you guys. We don't tell each other. We yeah. just kind of show up the day of it's for so a gift fun. exchange. It's so much fun. I love doing it. And we exchange. sort of lock down having people join us for the gift exchange in September. Yeah, because it gives you enough time to make it. We're like, we know like... You, the me, core four of us are Missy, always game, and, yeah. and sometimes we have other people who are able to join us, and sometimes, sometimes we not. don't. Just depends on who's free. And really, we're, we do it's it for fun. ourselves. Yeah, it's super fun. So if you can't tell, I'm also working on the shawl that she's making, the Northern Radiance. Yeah, yeah. Love Terry's it. my primary test knitter. Yes, because Terry is a very um, aggressive editor. Yes, Jocelyn needs to be corrected into English. That's just. I understand yeah, Jocelyn. That's, that's what it is. I understand We've been and friends translated. for over a decade. Yes. I hope at this point you can translate Jocelyn. Otherwise sometimes, some issues. sometimes I'm like, I don't know what you're saying here, girl. Yeah, no, and that's fair because. <laughs> Which is what we did for the cast on. Yeah. Because I was yeah. like, I do not know how you got this stitch count. I cannot get, get this, this stitch count. count. <laughs> and then I looked at it and said, no, what I wrote is in English, so it makes complete sense to me, but it's not going to make any sense to anybody else. So you're welcome, all future test hitters. Yep. First runs of English are all because of Terry. <laughs> Super helpful. All right. It's okay. I like it. I could talk about my socks, but let's talk about the drama in the room. You guys, I was doing the uh, Red Heart Yarns and I don't know uh, this. Marley Bird, my first sweater cow, mm -hmm. and my front and my back are clipped together because mm -hmm. I'd put them on. Mm -hmm. So here we have a finished sweater, front and back, just not stitched together. Okay. And you're thinking, no, oh, it's fine, right? No, what's the drama? It's a big box. I am about 35 stitches too wide on either side, so given that my frame is slightly larger and I'm quite curvy, it's it just huge. makes too big of a... And I made it too gauge, because it's supposed to have a lot of drape, but it makes yeah. too much drape. So what I think and I'm I going think... to do is I'm going to take my, my girl measurement, which is 52. I will share that with the internet. Uh, I'm going to divide it in half. I'm going to cast on on the 6 millimeter, which is a tighter gauge. And I'm going to do it so that I have a negative positive e a negative ease oh. on, my, on my chest. And I'm going to make it a fitted box sweater. Would you prefer that over like yes, this sewing? Is... I mean, no, but sewing the side. So I'm, well, I'm going to have to sew in a literally almost I a know, hand's worth. I'm wondering if we should like really heavy sew it and then like cut it'll, it. It'll affect the drape and yeah. where the sleeves end. So mm -hmm. I unfortunately have to rip back to front and backs. Aww. On the bright side, it's not like it takes long to knit it a six millimeter. It certainly didn't take long on an eight millimeter. So I know I can get this done in less than four weeks. Yes. So... I still think the pattern is great. It is, and I and made it. And all of the tutorial videos are amazing. Highly so recommend. Super recommend if you've never done sweaters to look up the My First Sweater she Cow gives, by Marley Bird. She yeah, gives amazing. amazing. And like really so good, good like tips and tricks so on how to like make and sure I, your stitches are good. And like, I've made other sweaters before. I've crocheted sweaters and I'm knitting sweaters and stuff. So like I knew it was a little big, but I have never done like the boxy drape shape. So I wasn't sure yeah. how I was going to like it. And I feel... Yes. <laughs> and, it's and I'm not... like, you know, I'm not a tiny human being, so I'm okay with not being a tiny human being. But I you don't want to feel. I don't good. want to feel like the Michelin Man. No, I don't. I don't want to feel like the Michelin Man, and this makes me feel like the Michelin Man. But I love the colors. I love the colors, and I love the yarn. So I'm going to literally rip it out. 
and do it again on a six millimeter, but I'm going to make my measurements to my inch, to my inches measurements yeah. on the front and back. And because I know how to do it and it's basically a box tube, I will, I may honestly knit it in the round up to my shoulders and split at my shoulders and then just do front and back on either side because I have multiple pairs of six millimeters because, you know, what person doesn't have multiple pairs of six millimeter needles on cords hanging out at home? And then I can do my front and back in tandem because it's that not like sense, the stitch yeah. count changes. You just split for your sleeves. Yeah. no. And then it means I can make sure that I've got the extra length I want because I added an extra inch and a half and it's just long enough. So I feel like I'm going to add more inches to that. So I've got a nice tunic box that makes sense. underneath. And, well, the girls are large, the hips are not, so if I'm snug around them and it hangs everywhere else, it looks quite good on my tall frame. So that's what we're going to do. So I will have a sweater. It'll be done during Stash Dash, most likely, because, again, I can do a front and a back in oh, two weeks. Yeah. And the sleeves took no time, but I've, like, I've already ripped those out, because like, I, I don't like it, and I know I'm going down on the gauge. There's so, no point if you don't like it, don't, right? Yeah. Like... The drape is, it also means that I know, like, when I'm doing, I said I want to do the Saturday morning sweater by uh, Dragon Horde Yarns, which is a fingering weight boxy. I will show you the pattern. Uh, and I want to do a boxy in okay. a fingering weight because I... Hello, cat <laughs> oh, sorry, this is cat. Guys, if you hear background noise, there are two cats and three bunnies that live in this house. There's not three bunnies. You're fostering. I didn't feel like being quite that obsessive with how many bunnies you currently have. <laughs> well, yeah. Terry is an amazing human being and an animal lover. So uh, I foster she, pets. She fosters pets. And I currently and have four massive bunnies and you do good things by being a foster mom for for animals so that rescue houses have got and i'd love to do it for dogs um, four dog, huge bunnies was a little overwhelming uh, it's a lot of bunny mm -hmm. um so that's that's a thing but you know you'll hear some background noises because quite frankly there are three okay listen the baby bunnies are in their own space we just have the three normally here bunnies and two cats yeah but, i don't count the caged geckos and things those Though are, those her house husbands. always smells like hay and sometimes sounds like crickets, so it's summertime all year round. Yeah, again. you can come to my house in the middle of winter if you just close your eyes. You, you wouldn't can, know the you difference. Can smell the outside. We need to buy you some of those candles with the wood wicks. Yes. Done. Complete ambience. There you go. Totally. You know, and and oh, so my house. So I bought my house. It's kind of like a weird retro house, and it came yes. with an indoor hot tub, which I know is like not a thing anymore. It's, Anyways, it's fine. I'm we're so literally stoked. just it's getting it up and running now, and it's like heating up. You're a nursing up. student. You've been busy. Your husband works out of town. <laughs> My life is crazy. But like, <laughs> I'm so excited. And somebody just got a new bathing suit, so we're gonna hot tub. Yep. <laughs> yep. She may be drinking. I probably won't be. It's, not it's almost like I'm not drinking. <laughs> almost like I don't drink you guys my mom opened up my fridge door she's like why is this pumpkin liqueur still here I'm like daughter still doesn't drink it's not changed in the last two times you've been down mother unfortunately nursing school is very stressful and I do need stress yes, relief listen. so I do like a, few, a glass of wine or two <laughs> your school is insane yeah, it's terrible. insane but we want good nurses uh, yes so I, 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 don't I don't disagree with the pass fail rate percentage on your courses I feel like those are very very yeah. necessary pass fail ratios mm -hmm. though i understand the stress that adds and like i'm a person who scores in that top percentile most of the time in post-secondary yes. education and i would find that stressful yes i'm i'm a good student i'm a very good student but i'm like better with the hands-on stuff hence oh, yeah. the knitting i really enjoy the knitting yep, yep. that's not surprising right. so oh. i only have one more thing i've been working on how are you There's doing? something I'm so excited to oh, cast on. Oh, you're casting on. So, oh, I can talk about my cast on thing too. Yes. Actually, I'm casting on two things because Ooh. I was waiting. Did I talk you into the mallow? Yes, you did. Because I finished this, I wanted Such this off the needle. Such a good enabler. I know, right? Guess what Diana bought? Sneak peek, you guys. She bought a kit for the Moherino Madness from the Stephen West store. Oh my gosh, I was talking about that on I, our chat I can't, group. I'm just like, I don't care how tired you are. When I come home on Wednesday, I buried my grandmother. I'm coming over and you're showing me this freaking yard early. I am not waiting, you guys. I am not waiting. Oh, I gave Diana money and was like, you buy me a ball of yarn. I don't care how full your bag is. You buy, buy me, me a ball, ball of yarn. yarn. <laughs> it's like, we're not friends anymore if you don't buy me a ball of yarn. Like, I don't care. And she's like, well, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't care. fingering purplish. I don't care. Okay. Like, just go. go. Yeah, I want something. I didn't give her any parameters. I was like, birthday yarn. Yeah, I have hers in the bag. I'm going to show you guys her birthday yarn. So the wait. two things that I want to cast on, I yeah. want to do the um, I'm with you. Mallow I'm Barocco Cast Along. Yes, Cast well, Along. Cast Along. It's an analog. Uh, Barocco Yards is doing a Marsh Mallow 
pun intended, uh, knit along. So you can choose to do the sweater or the cardigan version. We've both decided to do the cardigan. cardigan I I prefer that over like pull downs because like while she's all tatas, I'm all hips and bum, (laughs) so it can be hard for it to like fit over like nicely on my hips. I just get really (laughs) warm, like being able to let the girls breathe because I get listen. A lot of heat gets trapped in here. <laughs> if they have a, if it's got a heat vent, I'm really. <laughs> I have my yarn here. I stay cool, guys. Because this is around my house. I do uh-huh. have my yarn. It's almost like we're right next to your yarn cupboard. I know. I love that we both have yarn cupboards. So we're right next to my yarn cupboard. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so I'm doing mine in the Barocco Pima cotton in like a nice oh, purple, I'm a light so purple, excited. because you know it looks nice. Um, I figure I'll end up making the mallow twice, but the first time we want to do it in a in a in a DK vintage Barocco because I tend to wear more cardigans in the fall and the winter than I do in the summer. See, and I like them because they cover um, arms for anti sun. Yeah, yeah, for anti sun, which is really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the other one, I'll just whatever. The other one I want to cast on because you know when you cast off one sweater, you need to cast on, on two. two. Um, and I love Andrew Mowry. This math, this math love... is going to kick us in the teeth it at is. some point. I love how she writes her patterns. So I don't know, writes a freaking good pattern. She really is. Do you see the night shift shawl? shawl. <sighs> so beautiful. We go to Knit City. I'm finding you're in there for it. Yes. Um, I want to do her little yellow. L Y S little yellow little sweater. sweater. There we yeah. go. I'm like it's little yellow uh, li- it's local little yarn little store little acronym. Yeah. But it's anyways, and I was gonna do it in a yellow. I was super excited about it. I was talking to Miss C. We were yeah. both gonna want to do it in the yellow. Uh-huh. But then my husband decided to uh, stop at a yarn store on his drive home uh, in Saskatchewan in Regina. Yes, I didn't make it to the Regina yes. to the Regina yes. store. I really wanted to. I amazing. He really he really really liked it. And so he bought me a whole bunch of yarn, which is literally the perfect yardage for the, the sweater. Yeah, why, why the why perfect not? yarn. And it's like freaking gorgeous color for you. Yeah, and he bought me four balls of blue. It is cog yarn. Not only did he buy her four balls of yarn, he wound them for her. You know, it was amazing. He wound just, them all. I just it's, want to show up with my yarn and go, I'm not married to you. Will you wind my yarn? I already talked to him about it. He said, oh, yeah? yeah? Woohoo! So it's a color and people said blood. being friends with married people's heart. I mean, nope. What do you mean? <laughs> You know, it's really funny. I was talking to another one of my girlfriends. We've been friends since we were four, so like ever. Oh, forever, yeah. And um, her dad works out of town as well. Yeah. And so her mom always called herself a work widow. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God, that's totally, totally what I am. <laughs> so is, yeah, dad works yeah. so much. She's out of town. That's how. a work widow. Yeah. yeah. She's totally okay with it. I always jokingly called myself a widow yeah. who couldn't date yet. <laughs> My husband would hate that. Hopefully he oh won't watch this. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, have you ever wondered where I get my really bad politically incorrect blind people jokes from? This cheat guy. Because I think they're I so funny. They're so funny. Listen, you've 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 seen and heard some of the most ridiculous things I have I have had people ask me in all honesty and it's just Oh, I was well, telling mom about the other day. In. Yeah, yeah. I was telling mom the other day about your reaction to the how do you tell when you're done? And how she just about I, locked herself out of the chair. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> couldn't breathe. <laughs> I guess. People are right. I probably should just YouTube channel my life as a visually impaired person. It would be a rom com. Just what it would be. Although it is after me that Diana wants to have what random tweets or whatever she calls them from the like random sentences that come out of my mouth out of context or yes. just the weirdest with thing. the hashtag no context. Yeah, best yes. thing ever. Because I love doing that. Little so random. So good. <laughs> so good. Keeps my life interesting. It does. Anyway, no, I'm so super excited. what are you excited. casting on? Uh, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to talk about my socks first. Oh, yes. Because yes. we were doing an experiment. If you guys aren't tired of hearing about my boo socks yet. I, I am not love, a fast sock knitter, you I guys. I just love this color. And I'm totally, I've come to terms with the fact that while I enjoy it, I'm never going to be quick. So I am still okay. slowly puttering with my Boo socks, which are the Boo colorway mm. from Sea Turtle Fiber Arts. I just it love is that. a wonderful white base with the here we go one more time for posterity, some black, some candy corn orange, not candy cane orange. Look at that! I did it right. Diana's not here; she'll never believe it happened. And some Walmart costume purple. It's actually even funnier this considering my husband's name. It is hilarious considering your husband's name my is husband's Kane. Name is Kane. <laughs> And that's how I, yes, his name is Candy Cane. It is Cane. <laughs> yeah, it is Cane. It is. Uh, so we do that. I'm not wrong with that purple, though. It is Walmart costume purple. Oh, it is. It's totally a perfect Walmart. definition of it. Yep. So I have split for my heels, finally, you guys. So what we've been trying to figure out is how for me, how to get it so that I could do an afterthought heel without having to ask for help cutting the yarn. Because I can pick up fingering weight yarn, but I cannot cut fingering weight yarn because the stitches are too small for me to see. I have finally figured it out. 
It took four attempts, and I'm currently using some uh, over stitch markers to hold my heels together while I'm in a couple of rounds. But I am past my foot, giant lady 10 feet. But what I have done is I knit off and put some stitches onto some scrap yarn, which I literally have tucked into the sock, mm. on one side, knit back across the front, and then did a backwards loop cast on for the top of the heel. Oh, that's so, interesting. So you literally like cast, cast it, it off. off. Cast it off one and then cast it on the next oh. round and round. So right now I'm using some clover stitch markers, as you can see, to hold my heels together while I knit so that I don't stretch the heels out, <laughs> the back of my heel out. Uh, once, and then I can just continue up my sock, finish off to my cuff whenever I want to cuff my socks. I might actually make real adult socks, guys, and not just shorties this time. Because uh, I really love this colorway. <laughs> It's, it's just amazing. Really like, nice if you didn't it. finish with it, I'd probably oh, yeah. pilfer it and oh, then make yeah. myself a pair of socks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's happening. But that means that when I'm done and I've cast it off, all I have to do is pick up on my double point needles. And that's not going to be bad And that's going to be easy. You know, I might need some help with, the like, those straight black sections because black knitting. Yeah, because why wouldn't the it end up in the white? No, no, it ended up in the black because that's exactly how that worked for me. But it's Which a good practice for the next colorway. It is, yeah. yeah. So that I can do that and then I can just... Do toe decreases. Yeah. See, and you know yourself better than me. I have to have a put in heel, otherwise I would like never go back and finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a, I, I'll go back and finish. If I do one sock at a time, I will never do the second sock. See, and I prefer one sock at a time, just like yeah. so long as I'm doing the body of the sock yeah. at the same time. Yeah. I will go back and just do because it means yeah, I sit down one not, evening yeah, and I do and one heel, sit one down evening. one evening and do another heel. I'm I'll done, just and I can on. pick them up and I can do the two. I can do the decreases on either side as I'm editing or doing something else. So. Although fortunately, I don't actually have any unmatched socks. <laughs> I have always I have completed the second sock because. I never completed the second song. I have never had that happen uh, yet. So Sometimes it's a struggle. But. As usual, they are being done on my ch uh, Chao Gu red lace on a 2.5 millimeter needle, which everybody would use a 2 millimeter needle, but Jocelyn knits mother effing tight. Yes. It's insane. Like, when I have to, like... People have to go down a size or two to pick up stitches for me. At least two sizes to pick up stitches. And, like, it's crazy. Now, and it's still tight. That, the socks that I have made are wearing, like leather like <laughs> the stitch weave is so tight i'm getting nowhere or pilling on any of and i mean the, i'm already Which, working in my favor by working with a merino nylon bed yeah blend. yeah but i'm like i may never in the lifetime of the sock have to repair the sock that is how tight my knitting is yeah they're that's just, pretty nice which is good because i don't want slippage i don't want loosage because i walk up to twenty thousand steps a day if there is any give to my sock I will get a blister. Yeah. And it's going to be so nice in the winter time oh, yeah. as well. That's why I'm thinking I should make these regular size so that I can wear them in my boots. Yes. yes. So I'm thinking I'm going to go regular size, which will be like my first pair of regular socks in a very long time. So, but I am not primarily a sock knitter. It is not the first thing I go for. Where I did However, quite well last year with Year of the Socks. So I, I got, have a lot of pairs of socks. I've got four hours of driving to and from Brandon this week. So yeah. I'll probably put some rounds Hey, on. not just this week, but in a few weeks. Because uh, we'll be back on June the 8th for our Gay Blue Hill Fiber Festival. Yeah, you, did you like that little plug in there? Uh, super plug. We're trying to arrange it and make it so that there's a podcaster meetup so you guys can meet us in person. <gasps> yes. And then you don't have to feel like you're interrupting or anything because we're literally standing there for you. I know. And I'm not going to lie, Miss C will definitely be there. Me and Miss C. That's oh, yeah. yeah. If you want to meet Miss C in away. person, <laughs> they can go. <laughs> they we will be wander away. <laughs> Because it might be like, if we get there and we're doing it, and it's like, all of a sudden I remember there's a colorway I want at some place, I will literally go, oh my god, rescue me, here's my money, I need that one ball of yarn we that, saw like 20 or ago. we can have a stand-in at the booth for a few minutes, and you can meet the uh, guest, the uh, very occasional Are you guest. Kidding me? We're going there for this, and there's during the summer fair. There may have to be a lemonade mini donut run. May. More than one. <laughs> what am I just like, hello. Clearly not thinking that one through. Yes. Which is great. So Sorry, that's cat. what I'm currently just like like working on, working on. I'm trying to for sure finish uh, the third round of the Northern Radiance shawl so that it can be done and it can be up my needles. I can get up to testers and we can get progressing on that. Because yes. Terry's already planning 2020 for me, so I need to get hauling butt if I'm going to be done in time. <laughs> I've literally planned 2020. She like kind of threw in a concept I, idea I, I, and I was like, it's going to be a knit along. It's going to be in contests. It's going to be like in so collections. Guys, there's not even notes about this yet. <laughs> 
And Terry's like, I have to start get to test knitting now. What? And I'm like, whoa. Okay, first off, I've got two crochet shawls and one more knitting shawl i got to get through first. See, but this is the trouble with having a nursing student. Yes. As you're, uh, we're a little yeah. too motivated. Uh, uh, we're well, like, not too motivated. Just... Goal oriented. I want to have everything just... scheduled because, yes. you know, like, i got to have my whole life scheduled. Uh huh. I know. I know. Kind of intense. Which is fine. I just have to remember that with Diana, I need less coffee, and with you, I need more. I mean, it was funny. Fine. We were actually joking that, unfortunately, Jocelyn wasn't able to make Knit Club this week. But... This started, and the lady who was hosting has a tiny wee one, and uh, in defense, that wasn't actually my first thought. <laughs> it wasn't, ooh, don't give the baby the cold. My first thought was, don't give the nursing student the cold. You'll never hear the end of it. finals in three weeks. Oh, two would... weeks. Two weeks to final start. I would be an awful friend if I did that to you. So I was like, mm, nope, it could be a cold. I could just be tired and full of dust. Don't know, staying home. Yes. It was a cold. Good call on my part. So I know that probably can't. So I didn't make Nick Club on Friday, which is fine. Oh, we still got a great idea. I was going to say something, and I've totally forgotten. Uh, you were talking to Missy about my... About you. About something. I forgot now. It's totally gone. The shots that we're planning, that you're working out the planning ground for a knit log and the mystery cow and the grouping them together and how I have it's no totally, notes. It's but totally I mean, gone. It's gone. It's gone. I have no idea where you're going with it. It'll come back later. All after, sudden, after we've turned this off. All of a sudden, I'll get smoked in the arm and the rest of the thought will come out. Oh, there it is! Yep. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, how it works. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shall I talk about some vacation gear? Yes. Because you haven't seen any of my vacation gear in person yet. Oh my god, those so, colors! Like, the fact that it's like... So, I showed this off in the last podcast. But, watch Terry's here in person. Oh, I, I oh, had a big paper. finals in two weeks. I had a big paper and a big midterm this week, too. You know what? That's fine. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not like... offended. This is an Estelle brand. I showed this off in the last one. It's the rainbow confetti colorway. One's in a yellow, a white green, and one's in a, in a pink and red. Um, so I love this how it I got two skeins of this doesn't for my mother. go back. And I got two skeins for myself. And there is a crocheted... Mm -hmm. uh, my phone's going off on the, on the camera, on the table there, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's and I've got a crochet texture. pattern that I paid one euro for. <laughs> it's an expensive pattern. Oh, I blew the water. Uh, it's called the Indigo. Sh I think it's shrunk, but if you put an Indigo, it's one of the few crochet patterns that pop up. Oh and it's God. a it's a cocoon shrug. So it's like, I'm it's showing off the so colors again. Thin. It's it's a fingering weight design yeah, crochet pattern, and cotton? I'm stoked. If this is in a cotton acrylic, I was blend. like, this has to be cotton by the oh, texture. Oh yeah, it's a, for me. Cotton mommy. acrylic, yeah. Made so in Turkey. Mom, my mom is going to get this one, which is the green to white colored one, because this is the one she picked. That's the color 117, and this yeah, is one, yeah, one one nine. Them. And I'm doing the pink one, because I like pinks. Love it. So super cool. So I'm going to get started Different. on that. Uh, it's my, my goal is to have this done by August, which is my mother's birthday month. So that my mother can have a birthday present. Uh, since, uh, no, since she picks it out by going, I like this yarn, and then I pull a couple patterns, and then she yes. goes, I like that pattern with this yarn, and I make it for her every year. Yes. Not a shock. Okay. Nose break. <coughs> Same as now. Are you going to be on the internet? She does not Did care. you hear Grumpy Cat died? I did. It was so sad. She's only I mean, seven. That's not old for a cat. She had a lot of. A lot of health issues. Health issues, yeah. Well, because of the like underbite and stuff. Oh yeah, hey. So like all over the internet, there's pictures of Stanley and Grumpy Cat, Cat. and I'm like, <gasps> they steal oh, my heart. <laughs> yeah, hey. Uh, yes. Sad. My cats look exactly the same. Your cats do look exactly the same. They're, they're just, not. They're, they're two just of them. outside. Yeah. Chilling um, around. Yeah. This right. one, this one was found as a kitten. I had, kitten. To, I had to feed her He's milk. A kitten. And now she is a terrible cat. Not terrible. She's just good at she's, she's just, not she's not good at catting. She, she's excellent at catting. She's just poor at marrying her poop. Yes. No, she's like a sub. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So she's fine. scared of everything. Uh I went to the Midnight Cravings grand opening, which by the time you guys see this, the blog will have gone up. And these are the three full skeins I picked up. Oh my god. One is smoke and mirrors, which is a nice lovely gray. Is this the smoke and mirrors? Yeah. I don't yeah. It's a gray tonal. And then I picked up, I think this one is, yeah, this one is Sunken Treasures. That is unbelievable. Which is a beautiful blue, green, yellow, it's, it looks... Like, you just yeah. keep turning it and the colors keep yeah. changing. It reminds me of those little treasure chests you see in fish tanks. Totally! Oh my god! <laughs> Have you just decided what you're making with them? Um, no, because I don't know which one you're taking as your birthday scheme. And then this one is Daydreamer, which is purple, so obviously this is Diana's birthday yarn. Because it is a beautiful purple speckle. This was also one of their released for day of 
their uh, oh. grand opening. So Diana gets special grand opening yarn because it is a beautiful purple variegated, and Diana loves her some serious purple. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to throw this into her stash as her birthday yarn because she's bringing home a skein for me from Europe. So I bring home a skein from Midnight Cravings every year for her for her birthday. <laughs> uh, she likes this exchange. Sweet. So it's what we do. So no, I don't know if I'm working with Sunken, Sunken Treasures or Smoke and Mirrors because I don't know which one you're taking. I didn't know this when she just rolled it out. I know. I didn't tell you in advance. Oh my god. I love the sunken treasure so much. I know. Can you I want have some? That one? Yeah. Yeah. I you can have that. So much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Of course. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm making. That's okay. I'm going to show you the Saturday morning sweater because they have a colorway called uh, Pocket Change. Oh my god. That's cute, man. And it looks like Pocket Change. Oh my god. That's so cute. It's so good. And I think I want to make that as half. Because um, the Saturday, the Saturday perfect Saturday morning or Saturday morning sweater is a boxy sweater, so I of course will make it so there's no ease. Well, yeah. So that it looks good on me. So I'll, I'll need to do some math and numbers and stuff, which the my first sweater cow will totally help with, um, and do that. But I don't know what to do for the bottom color because half of it's variegated, half oh. of it's tonal, and it's got a very snug sleeve. Like she designed a snug sleeve. You're gonna have to show me this pattern. I'm going to because I really yeah. like from the looks of it. I love her designs and some of the stuff she's released in later this year. I'm like, yeah, I really want to make your stuff. Even though I know I'm committing to a fingering weight sweater at a 52 inch bust mm. at five foot ten. You guys, That's I don't do. Not what to do I don't. That. No, I don't do 17 inches from my underarm for tunic. I do 22. Also, why I it make socks faster. A teeny feet, tiny feet. Um. It is a super huge commitment for me to do a fingering weight sweater, so it's that's, that's be a thing. Beautiful. Who, who cares if it takes so you a year? Sorry. I don't care. Yeah, I'll be happy when I'm done with it. Yeah, that's All what right. matters. <gasps> oh my god, I look at the color. When I came home, I have some review yarn. Oh! This is my very first review yarn that I'm doing. <gasps> Should not shock anybody, it's cotton. <laughs> I love cotton, okay? There's so much misconception about cotton. I, there's, there's red tangents and rants and other podcasts I can send you to where they've discussed and broken down cotton so people can understand what the difference in cotton fiber staples are. I am very interested it is, in these it videos. Is, it is so, I mean, the biggest one I'm going to do is the uh, U University because she breaks things down. She's a university professor. We will it's, link them. We'll have to link them. Yeah. She does an amazing one on cotton where she explains staple lengths and cottons at various yeah, lengths to because, explain it for people. As because far as I Egyptian the longer cotton, the length, the softer it feels. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah. Which is so why you get like a Pima or an Egyptian. Yeah. And that's it is why they put the so soft. Yeah, the number yeah. into the Pima. Yeah. Like yeah. the Pima is soft, but it's yeah. not like the softest. softest. No, Egyptian it's, cotton is the yeah. softest. It's the Because Pima staple. is still kind of a reasonable price. <laughs> Hinted. Which is part of the reason why are my mellow. On, are you on the internet? Yes. This is my new, by the way, our minuet, but I call her my new. Are you on the internet? You want your mommy's laugh? Well, I'm not stopping you. Yes. So, Kramer Yards kindly sent me some cotton to review for them. So, I, I have some 50% uh, acrylic cotton in a denim colorway, which I mother's it. already it's, claimed. I, was like, I don't know like what I'm making tweed. her. It's like a tweed. I love it. It is a tweed. <coughs> it is a tweed. It's and their, it's so soft. I brought two ball bands so I could show one off while you read the other one because heaven knows oh, I can't read Oh, faded denim. Bands. Yeah. It's Kramer spun in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, yeah. Interesting. So it's, it's a cotton acrylic. It's a fingering weight. Yeah. Uh, I am excited from the feel of this to work with this. Oh. Yeah, 250 so, yards. I got six balls like, of this. I'm Oh, six. Wow, they were generous. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I'm making mother something. Uh, mostly because my mom uh, was with me when I opened the box. And I was like, oh, hey, look, that's cotton. My mom's like, oh, hey, look, that's your mother's favorite color. And I went, mommy, would you like something? Yeah, it's a DK weight, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, yeah, yes, I would. I'm like, okay. It's gorgeous. I could make her a harvest. Yeah, you could actually. Because it's a DK weight. And yeah. it's an open cardigan that she could wear cotton and acrylic. So I may honestly make yeah, my mother yeah, a sweater. I'm making my niece a sweater. Why wouldn't I make my mom a sweater? Because your niece is way smaller? Uh... She's a yes. tiny, lanky human being. She is a lanky human being who's taller than her grandmother now. I know she's taller than me. She's, she's taller five. than you. And she's twelve. I know. <laughs> okay, five, I'm five four. I'm she's not... five foot six, five foot almost I'm five foot seven. Not that short. She's almost at her mother's height. Her mom's five foot eight, so I'm not worried yet. I'm five ten, I five feel, eleven. I feel like when she passes so me, uh, her personal goal, because you know you can determine how tall you are, is to be as tall as her papa. Her papa is six foot three. <laughs> I went, yeah, go for it, kid. Get that tall. Uh, and they also sent me some freaking amazing pinky coral. Yeah, it's so bright. So bright. Here you go. Does it feel the same? Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's another cotton. It's not quite the same as this. No, like, no, it's, it's not quite it's as a different. Soft. It's a different blend. Oh, it's called Tiger Lily. Yes. Because dyed it's by it's Brown Sheep orangey. Company Inc. Yeah. And so oh. it's a size one. It's like oh, yeah. what I want to do is hold it together and make a sun hat for myself in this oh, orangey pink color. Yes. Coral. I want to call it corally pink. 
Yeah, you do. It's kind of an orangey, though. It's, it's like orangey. The tiger, yeah. it's, got, it's got an orange undertone, but on my skin tone. It's gorgeous. In the summer, I kind of want to crochet this up into a beautiful sun hat for myself. Because well, I'd have to hold it double I to get it. to the right for a 4.5 millimeter hook. Perfect. But I think it would look really good as a sun hat. And Jocelyn has offered to make me a sun hat this summer, so oh, we're actually going to pop by and get some uh, we'll nice, get some, some some nice, nice cotton. cotton yarn for you, and I'm going to make you a sun hat. They don't take long. I don't mind making smaller things for you because oh, you do wow. enough for me. Although, and then into uh, fiber flubs, I just knit the wrong row onto this thing, so I now have to iron the other row. Oh, that's exciting. Well done. I know. I'm not paying attention. All right. So, oh, look at that color, too. I, I just, I'm a color day, apparently. It is a color day. So, I'm going to hand you one. This is my Barocco Vintage DK, which I literally... <gasps> this is what you're making your mail on. This is what I'm making my mail on. I literally picked this up the Saturday afternoon before Grandma passed away. So I, I have not had time to kick up my skein dead, guys. It literally went into a suitcase and came to Brandon. So here is some Barocco Vintage for the Mallow. I'm going to get started on that. It so is a gorgeous like a blue. Comparison. So it's you can really blue. see the like different in the textures, oh, which is yeah. really nice. I and I just I and like both Barocco. Oh yeah. I mean, even with the fifty on the vintage DK, because there's some acrylic in here, my mom can't have it because of the wool. So this is safe for me to knit in because my mother cannot take it from me. <laughs> I don't know what the color is. I think they do numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just this color 2170. Color 2170. Which, fine. yeah. But that's fine. It's a really, a really, really nice. freaking pretty blue. Yeah. There are so many shades of blue. There is. Um, like, I would go with a deep summer blue. The th Yes. The yeah. thing is with the Barocco is like, it doesn't seem to matter what yarn I use, like what like no. kind it is, what color it is. The stitch definition is amazing. It's beautiful I'm yarn really to like work Barocco with. Yeah. It washes well. Like I, I want to get my hands on some huge. of their cotton tweed blends and stuff. Oh yeah, like I know their I summer, their those. summer DK stuff. Like, but we only have one local yarn store here in the city. I know I live in a capital city. We probably should have more than one. But I just need to order it in. And I just I'm lazy. I don't like doing that. I like being able to fill the yarn before I buy it. Yes. I, well, I'm the same way. Yikes. So I got to get that started this week because let's be honest, after I've ripped the sweater, I'm not starting it again immediately. I'm going to need to take a break. And it's okay. That's fine. So I'm doing that. You and guys. I am casting it on today. So much stuff. So much stuff. And you're like, Jocelyn, you seriously you have to be done. No, nope, I'm not. Uh, I won yard. You won yard? I didn't. I don't always think because I do all the uh, replies on the YouTube stuff. So I, I was talking with I didn't Laura. Show the yarn that I won. Oh jeez. Because yeah. <laughs> it's funny. from this contest. It's from, best, yeah. it's from one of my contests. I, I laughed so hard. Diana was with me. I was like, and Terry won. Diana's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, hello. Here's the number. Here. She's like, Jesus, that's hilarious. I'm like, it is. It also made really easy shipping because she lives here. She still doesn't have her bag though, so don't feel bad, you guys. I have literally got home and been ankle, no hip deep in family. Though on the bright side, for the sock cowl in January, we just had nothing but a cluster mess for all of the prize yarn. Yeah. I am finally in the same province as the minis and the bags. I literally just <gasps> really? need to put them in the mail next week. Oh my week. god, that's so exciting! So they should be in the mail this week for everybody. Uh, and I'll be double checking with people. Uh, again, as a reminder, if you need to get a hold of me about these sorts of things, do not do it through Ravelry. I am on Ravelry the least unless I'm trolling for patterns. Or I have an email update yeah, or something. Yeah, it doesn't notify on your phone or anything. It doesn't. So it's... But if, like, if you need to get a hold of me and you've got questions, email the podcast, northernknitspodcast at gmail.com. I check that daily. Literally, even just commenting daily. on the YouTube would be yeah, more Yeah, I mean, consistent. I get back to you right away for the YouTube. I get back on the Ravelry. I get back to you if you're a patron. Like, I'm, I'm good with that. And I'm good with the Instagram direct messages and stuff, too. But I am just, to me, Ravelry is still strictly personal, which means it is not on my two-check list. It, it's just, it just doesn't notify doesn't, you. Yeah, yeah. So. I just, I don't know. And then I get in and I'm like, oh my god. There's it's like been 15, two weeks. Yeah. It's been 15 emails. Yeah. And I, is... I don't have time to sort through 15 emails about random things. I want to, but it takes a long time for me to sort through it. Noting... On my business email accounts, like my private, my business, and the stuff that I do with the disabilities, I get upwards of 50 emails a day. So, like, I am, I am a busy oh, human definitely. being. <laughs> You've been just keeping up with the Instagram for a week. I'm like, ah! Yeah, and I do it week in, week out. And this, this is the first time I've had to take a break from it. Because I was like, no, I don't, I don't have the time to do it. So, I, uh, without thinking, commented on one of Laura's podcasts. And she oh. is doing the Spring Garment Knit Along with us. Because it is Laura from the corner of Knit and Tea. Yes. I have another project to talk about that's tucked in there on the side still. Uh, which is my contribution to the Garment Spring Knit Along. Though it occurred oh, to me that if I get... Uh, my Northern Radiance done before June 15th. I can count it for the cotton knit along oh, yes. for Cozy Up Knits oh, and my own garment 
yes spring knit along so because cotton so i want a skein of yarn and laura kindly sent to me a thank you note because she said Aww. it was quite hilarious to have my number my name pull up and you're right it was because i didn't even think that by commenting i was entering the draw i was just like "Ooh, write comment <laughs> You yeah. guys, this yeah. is how I won the yarn from Barry from the Knitted Wolf Luxury Yards. I didn't even think about it. I just made the comment because I was like, I have to comment. But it's it's literally, it, it enters such, you in the contest. It was such a surprise Ooh. when it came out. She sent some teas from the Republic of Tea. Aww. And I wanted to try their teas for so long. I am so excited. I'm not sharing these teas with the Diana. Oh, no. These I, are these are me teas. Earl Grayer. I know. Look at the packages. It's just so, and it's she talks they're about the Republic, the Republic of Tea all the time, and I'm like, I really want to try their tea. No, they're good packages. They're good packages. I can't smell it. Can't smell it. <laughs> so I'm Put super excited down. to try. They're two different ones. One yeah. the Earl Grayer, and one's uh, what's the other one? Blackberry the sage. sage. Yeah, Ooh. the Blackberry Sage. I'm stoked about. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. The Earl Grey will go great. Yep. Super excited. So uh, this is the skein of yarn I'm on. <laughs> It's very different. What's the co what's Here the go. I'm gonna pass it material? to you because I have a heck of a time. Because it's it. it's like quite a different texture. Like yeah. it's it's not it's a wool. Yeah, it's it's hundred percent fine wool from mm -hmm. the mountains of northern N M. Yeah. I know it's I just my my lack of geographical knowledge of America is showing right now. I'm oh, sorry. I think how bad People is. in the internet I'm are yelling so at me sorry. right now. I should know better. Uh, I know sorry. all the provinces. <laughs> okay, listen. If I know the provinces, I'm, I'm having a good day. I'm not going to lie. I cannot read her handwriting. That's okay. Koch. C-O-C-H. I-N-E-C-H. I don't know what the colorway is. I'm sorry, guys. It's really pretty. Shepherd's it's a, lamb. It's a pink. Yeah, yes. it's like a pink color. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I'm thinking, uh, I it's really, actually, something. you can really see it in this natural light. Absolutely. Uh, I want to do some Selby mittens, so I think I need to pick up some yeah. brown and do some color work mittens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so it just, it doesn't even say, it's just 100%. Just uh, 100% wool. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, I think those are going to make some amazing mittens for me I in also the winter. Really, I also really like her logo. So, some color work mittens logo. are on the way this fall. Uh, I'll find a nice brown wool. Yeah, and a nice this. little, like, pattern in there. Well, I'm thinking if I do it with, like, a chocolate brown wool on the pink. Oh, that'll be beautiful. It'll be really pretty. And then I can uh, line the inside with a fingering weight matching mitten on the inside, and then I've got a double oh, layer. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love, I love Because matching. it gets cold in this province, guys. Should I show off the yarn that I've won from the Northern Knits podcast? We finally got through an entire bag of yarn, guys. It's a lot of yarn. What contest did I win this for? Now I forget. It's not Year of the Socks. I didn't no. win that. Oh, podcast anniversary. Podcast anniversary, yes. Because you knit the hat. Yes, I did. Yes. Which I love my hat. I'm very excited. Oh, my I think such my good life. hat patterns. Oh, oh the needle. needles are running away. Um, I, for some reason, don't have the ball band in here. What is Cloud9 Beautiful. Fiber Works? Love it. Blood of my enemies is the colorway. And I am making um a dragon shawl. It's called I Am Dragon by Alexia. Oh, I can't think of the last name right now. I'll link it, though. And I'm actually doing the beaded oh, one. Geez, look at that. Yeah. It's, oh my god, so like, what, I know she has really pretty yarn, and yet when you see it knit up, you're always stunned. Yeah, so like there's these like little oh, like edge so pieces, pretty. and so you're gonna take, I'm gonna take these edge pieces, and I sew them in, and it like kind of pops, makes, yeah, and makes the scales show. 3D, yeah. and so it's like, it's like a shawl. I know. Yeah, and it's oh. my first time working with beads as well, oh. and I chose oh. to do the like, so happy. cast them all on first. I bought, I bought some of that in, their fi in her fiber, like I bought the her fiber, Blood of My Enemies, I cannot wait to spin that, you have no it's idea. It's so gorgeous. I got the so beads great. at Poco Beads in Winnipeg. Oh, Poco Love beads Poco amazing. Beads. But yeah, I am loving and I'm really yeah, doing this like with straight Poco. needles. I don't I didn't have the right size. My um Oh, because you're was it's... that the one the cat ate? No, the bunny. No, uh, we replaced those. Yeah, we replaced those. Um I don't know how many needles are right now. Anyways, I have I have circulars, but for some reason I'm doing this on straights. Well, I mean, when it's small, the straights yeah. work fine. And so like this color like this ball is not quite enough. So I'm just gonna leave like one row of scales off because yeah. I just it's so perfect for this pattern. Yeah, yeah. No, no, oh, it's yeah. great. So perfect for this pattern. So oh, that's my. <laughs> so you do see that some people do actually get the contest yarn. Unfortunately, not from Year of the Sock, but people do get their contest yarn. I haven't wanted to like be that person who complains because I feel like too many people complain about things. It's just like yeah, but it's woe is me pity party, which I'm not into for myself. So it's just it's just been a cluster, you guys. Just it's been very stressful. An absolute cluster. So I all I can do is apologize and go. You know what? There's some stuff I definitely could have done differently, and I I chose and I made some wrong decisions, and we but won't like, do that again. But you didn't know. I, mean, I didn't, and I mean, I know better now. Inside is always 2020, right? Oh my god, even for me. Oh well. 
So that's a thing. All right. Oh, where did I put my? Do you have anything for fiber plugs? As oh, I oh, other than back other, this other than my, my sweater. Oh yeah, that <laughs> I need to rip out entirely. Uh, no. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here tinking now. No, I'm going to be tinking here shortly. But what I can do is in my very favorite no zipper bag. Okay, I'm sorry, but like you have to figure is... out like where to get this I stuff. I do. I need to make my bags like this because I hate zippers on project bags. Nothing wrong. My yarn always gets caught and it drives me batty. It just drives me batty. So I this was from So Into Knitting. Get so in. they're coming back to the Fiber Festival this fall. Oh, are they? So my more I, bags. Like, I like that it almost feels like um it's like not stiff at all. It almost I need feels more like Halloween bags in my life. It's almost people. like a quilted feel to it, it. It is a quilted, but it's not yeah. uh, heavily interfaced, which no, I like. It's not. Is it interfaced at all? It is interfaced, but it's quite lightly interfaced. It almost because it's, it's got the quilted batting in it, yeah, and that's what like they're a, doubling as interfacing. Yeah, so but it's I not love, that stiff. It like, that. It's like a soft squishy. And there's only one little pocket on the inside. I do not need extra pockets on the inside of my knitting project bags. I just need a little bag, a little bag. <laughs> Oh, I, I carry my, my notions in a separate container. I don't. My patterns just literally, if I'm honest, they just get shoved in. Just get shoved in. <laughs> Guys, I'm lazy. That's how it works. Uh, so this is my project for the spring garment knit along. Well, it's a craft along. Because you can knit, you can crochet, you can well, you can weave your own fabric and sew Diana something. Is you can sew something. something. Yeah, I can totally do that. Yeah. It does do have to be cotton. Not everybody's obsessed like I am. That's fine. You want to work in merino wool? You work in merino wool. It's also good. I also work in a lot of wool. I'm doing, <coughs> as I cough, the shrug again, uh, which is a cozy up knits pattern. I still have no idea why Jamie put me on the test pattern thing. I told her I was not going to be done on time, and she said that was fine She's and sent it to me anyway because person. Jamie is an amazing person. All the sisters are delightful. If I could knit as fast as Sarah, my life would be complete. <sighs> Although, speaking of the Cozy Up Knit Girls, I want to do a knitting retreat, which is like the four core people of yeah, our group yeah, at our cottage, yeah, at my I, cottage, I, our cottage, yeah. at my cottage this summer, well, my parents' cottage, but um, what the Cozy Up Knit Girls do, and I've talked to you about it, is I have no idea how they, like, trade knitting. Oh, I'll just, like, finish that ribbing the up sis for The you sisters and, rotate like, it, so the ones that love knitting, ribbing will do the ribbing, and those that uh, <sighs> struggle with two bags and stuff, and they're constantly flipping back and forth. Like, I can garter for days. I can garter for 12 hours a day. I And want. my stitches are super consistent. They are. I What I want to do while we're at the cottage is literally just have some, like, garbage knitting, and I want everybody to knit, like, a chunk, and I want to try and block it out. Yeah. To try and see, like, yeah. everyone has I the same yarn, the, the same... I just we, want to we experiment it, with yeah. it. Because if we can get it to work, then we can start switching it out. Because then it's like... Because yeah. Miss C loves lace. Yes. And I could so do miles I. of garter for her. I could do miles of garter for you without even thinking about it. Well, because, I mean, most of my garter knitting happens when I'm on the bus. So I have I to be able to pay bus. attention to other things and not look at my hands. You mean, like, when to get off the bus? Yeah, I have to know when to get off the bus, you guys, because... Just go for a ride. <sighs> sometimes. So... Uh, I have not made a ton of progress. I did end up doing some ripping back a while ago because I was at the point where I was ready for it, but my back shaping was off, which was not the pattern's fault. It was Jocelyn's fault for not paying attention. So whatever. I threw in a lifeline. Guys, I'm working in a silver gray. I can throw a lifeline in something this light. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's, a, a very, it's from Premier Cottons. It's 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. My mom's already tried to claim it twice, and I keep telling her it's too big for her because her chest is smaller than mine. But I do have that fancy denim, so I might be making this again right away. This is my life. I'm just don't I... We are not discussing shawl colors because I'm like somewhere around yeah. close to 600 stitches to pick up for the shawl color, and then I have six inches of one by one ribbing to do. See, they don't mind ribbing. Oh, God. I might honestly pick up all the stitches and go, hey, you want to do my one by one ribbing for me? <laughs> not if I'm making a black lace cardigan. I'm not making. No. <laughs> I would not make you do. I think. I think the deal was only if I had to line your three-quarter length crocheted coat with hood. I can line it myself. <laughs> I'm just not as into crochet, guys. Oh, just fine. So I've made a little bit of progress, but I'm still quite a few number of stitches. But I have fully split for my sleeves, which you can see going on here. Uh, and I'm well into the back shaping. So I've got about 14, 15 rows of back shaping left to do, and then I'm literally binding off and doing my sleeves. Uh, the pattern recommends to do your sleeves before you do your shawl collar, which is a stupendous idea, because then your sleeves are the length you want them, and then you can just knit till oh, yeah, you're out of yarn. Oh, yeah, that's what they were talking about. Yeah, yeah they were talking then about that. you can that. knit your collar till you're out of yarn. Because I definitely picked it up when it was on sale. I do want to oh, make yeah. it, but I'm really sorry, guys. There's a few sweaters that I'm just so <laughs> excited about making first, Buddy. as I was talking about casting on. Bunny! Yeah. Bunny! I like the bunnies. I 
cats bought them on her floor because they're black bunnies, which is fine. She can see the most important part of her bunnies. <laughs> Not but, always. Uh, I tend to sit very still and roll over for Nick Cliff because I never know where the bunnies are. Yes. Now, um, unfortunately, I smell like other pets, so they leave me alone, which they don't do for Miss C. Because who was it that stole her pet on the other month? Oh, that was Charlie. He's was not Charlie? out right now, yeah. Oh, Charlie just came by and, and just like, grabbed in... the front of her paper and just went. And just far enough, he was out of range of her arm and stopped and just stared at us. I know, and then she says to me, what do I do? And I'm like, like go pick it up. up. <laughs> just like, just and like, my was rabbits are huge. No. Like, they're over 10 pounds no. each. Like, they're no. like medium-sized cats. They are medium-sized. They're big bunnies. I like big bunnies. And that's fun. Uh, uh, was I helping her as the only other pet person in the house? Nope. Oh. I was laughing. <laughs> this. Okay. You know how I said I, I made it. a mistake on the row? Yep. Yeah, I made can't tell. I made half of the row correctly. You really can't tell. I already taped it back. Oh, jeez. You're crazy. It was a half a row I mixed That's up. That's fair. I, I just started I, gartering it. I hate taking back so freaking much. Yeah, but I was taking while we were talking. Ugh. I can't. I have to focus so hard on quarter. So, this is theoretically going to be back at the sleeves and ribbing here shortly, and I will not have messed up the back shaping because I have learned my lesson. I do not do this while I'm chatting with my mother. <laughs> I'm going to do this while I'm sitting at home by myself watching Sequest DSC, which my father is currently putting on my computer for me so that I can have it to watch. What show? Sequest DSV. It is late 90s, and humanity, after the wars of 2010, have gone to the ocean to colonize and live because the surface is struggling intriguing it is so bad i can't i cannot help myself okay, it is cool. so it is cool. so dated cool and it's just oh, to each their own i love me i love me some cheesy science fiction fantasy stuff just just i can't i cannot get enough of it i, I don't it I, for the time when it was made it's really well done but it's oh, yeah. not aged exceptionally well it's not like babylon <laughs> 5 where you're like you can watch that you can watch that and yeah. your only your only trip up is god the shoulder pads uh if you, you can't tell i'm also five. a nerd girl i do watch a lot of i uh, see quest is a little more because they do a lot more dates and times, and they're a lot closer to uh, okay, our time. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you know, you still get some things like... Oh, 2010, yeah. we're all going to be flying around in hover cars. Listen, yeah. if we had a Sequest DSV underwater submersible and we were making colonies on the ocean floor at this point, Sounds I would fun. be super stoked. We are not. <laughs> so, but, again, at the time, you know, like, Star Trek introduced us to cell phones before we had cell phones. That's true. So, you know, one day, maybe they should have different timelines for it. That's all. So, got some progress. Not as much it. as I wanted, but... Love it anyways. I lost some knitting time in the last week and a bit. So, I am still working my way through that. <sighs> hey, I've got till the summer solstice, which is the 25th of June. 21st of June. Jocelyn knows how to read dates. It's fine. And considering I am casting on today... <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I'll finish. I'll finish the cardigan in a month. Oh, yes, you would. I, I know. I'm a fast <sighs> I'm... I need a, I, you can, can you be my Sarah? Can you be my fast knitter for me? Oh, wait, you already are. Sure. <laughs> Sarah's so fast. She really is. Oh, I love how fast she knits. I just wish it, I was the speed I knit at. It's not. Until somehow. That's fine. Uh, it's not the end of the world. So that's, that's it. I'm out of knitting stuff. Sounds good. This is what happens when I take a week's vacation. Yarn on the go then. You definitely were knitting in the car this week. I was yarn on the go. She was yarn on the go. <laughs> Where I just knit in school. Well, you guys, you if you follow the Instagram posts, you've been yeah, you've seeing, seen some, of my, stuff, some yeah. of my work at yeah. school and uh, teaching a new friend at school how to knit. And Which is exciting. I was at Knit Club this week. Yes. Yeah. It is very exciting. So. Yeah, I counted. I'm 35 stitches wide. <sighs> That's too wide. It's too much. Too much for my poor She's friend. She's holding this, by the way. I'm holding it's my first me. sweater, Cal. I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to rip. I'd, you might Instagram story that because you know that'll be painful yeah, for I Instagram people. story ripping this. Did one you, up did the you other see? Day. Did you see the comment when yeah, like, this like, is painful this to watch. watch? I have no problem. I thought it was quite cathartic. I will <laughs> rip it out and then just pick up. Like yeah, I thought it was quite cathartic to watch. I was like, yeah, it's not just me. I, uh, I, I like love it. it. When it, you know that you have to rip out knitting, I think it's so much fun. Oh yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get you to help me because it is quite satisfying to rip this out. <sighs> you know what we should do is right onto the ball under. It they're big skeins. So will it fit? No. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm fine with hand round balls. Okay, and cool. I will show you the size of the hand round ball from the sweater, from the sleeve. It's it's long. We can put it up as a picture on the Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. So anyway, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. I was just going to say wool gatherings now, which I think is mostly... Because that's the size of the ball when it's hand wound. Um, and this has been paired matched. So I'm like... Mm. I'll just keep winding her way while I cut yeah. out the uh, <sighs> things. 
Uh, so wool gatherings. What are our uh, events coming up and whatnot? Uh, we will be at the Blue Hills Fiber Festival on June the 8th. Which is in Brandon, Manitoba this it year. Is. In a different spot. Yeah, Last the year funny was in... if I did it sideways, it'd be long enough. It'd be a dress. And you know what? It would fit. <laughs> you do that if you want to. Oh my god, no. Because <laughs> then you got weird ribbing on the I other side. weird ribbing on the other side. No, it's not going to work. Don't do that, Jason. So, um, Blue Hills Fiber Festival. Uh-huh. I think that's about it. Uh, that's in the immediate vicinity of future. Uh, Stash Dash is starting next Friday. Yes. Uh, that's going to run from the 24th of May till the 24th We're of We're planning August. our cottage weekend. We are planning a cottage weekend. I will weekend. say, though, there won't be, like, any really... There's, like, one teeny tiny yarn shop. Well, my cottage is just outside of Kenora. There's not really a lot of yarn knitting. It's mostly just, like, a girl's sleepover. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably like just do Instagram stories. I'm going to do another cut to blow my nose. <laughs> so, uh, wait to talk until you're done blowing your nose. Uh-huh. Although I am trying to convince her for the podcast when we're at the cottage Ooh. and put it up on the dock and you guys can see a beautiful background. Um, and you'll see Miss C and I probably dance in and out because we'll be there. Uh-huh. <laughs> we normally record on Sundays, so it should not be a thing. It'd be yeah. too hard of a thing to arrange. So we'll do this early. So. <laughs> we'll get Diane out of bed early. <laughs> Shinta. Miss C in bed early. Oops, say her name. You got it. <laughs> I'll get all of them out of bed early. By about Sunday, Missy will be done with my morning technique, my morning routines. She's up at the crack of dawn. I love the crack of dawn. I like getting up early and going See, to bed early. We'll, just, we'll set a tent up outside and we'll just stop at night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit back in this very deep couch and relax now. Stuff me in the... See, like this, uh, I, don't know I think this is so neat. I love this. Sorry, I'm going to show this off. Okay. So, like, you can really see my lace there. Uh -huh. But then here, it variegates to almost the same color. So you can, like, barely see the lace. But then it, like, pops out to, like, blue and, like, pink again. So my lace is going to, like, really fade compared oh, to your light. Oh, just jump right out at you. <laughs> For both of yours, because of the brown and white. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I prefer stronger contrast, so it works really for me. <laughs> so, uh, otherwise, event-wise off the top of my head after a week's vacation uh, the Manitoba Fiber Festival will be happening in September uh, that's something we always attend Stash Dash is run by the Knit Girls that's a choose your own adventure sort of challenge yourself uh, knit along uh, spinning or crocheting and it counts finished yardage projects okay I was going to say that's the yardage one I've that's never done one, yeah. it's done in one. kilometers Yeah. which I feel is very apt considering I'm Canadian I was going to say aren't they American? yes Oh, I'm surprised. Uh -huh. But I mean, most of the world does do kilometers. Uh, yes. So that's there actually is more very... metric than imperial in the world now. That's actually very inclusive of them. I like yes. that. Yeah. So I always like doing some sort of crazy goal because even if I don't reach it, it's a challenge for myself, not yeah. anybody else. Which I Well, you're not... competing against yourself, nobody else. And I'm not really competitive with other people. I'm only yeah. competitive against with myself, so that's, it works that's just the fine. best route. I think so. It's just like the only person I'm stressing out is myself. If I don't make it, whatever. Yeah. So I, I do every year. Uh, Fiber Festival in September? Yeah. Uh, don't ask me the dates. Diana remembers those. That'll be the Manitoba Fiber Festival. Uh, we're still in talks with those ladies about maybe doing a giant podcaster meetup with other podcasters in Manitoba, which sounds amazing. I would be totally game to do that. Ugh, yeah, that'd be, like, such a fun thing Though to, like... Though I may like... honestly also be a booth babe for Miss C. She gets her Etsy shop up and running. So. Yes, Missy is talking. We don't have a plug-in for her. Because she doesn't have a company name yet. She's in the Get process of making a company name. I know she... you watch me. Get yeah. on that, ma'am. I and need so... a name. I need a bag. Let's go. And then I we're gonna like run to start a... promoting you. We're going to start run... We're gonna run a contest. Oh, yeah. Well, not we. They're going to run a contest. Um, she says, I not know. her. Like, I'm not going to sucker her into doing some of the work for me since she's volunteering me for this stuff. Uh, yeah, because I'm like, oh, my goodness. We're going to do a contest for Missy so that yep. we can push your bags and have some contest bags. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll have to see if we can get some yarn. Uh-huh. Because people will love that. I mean, uh -huh. yarn's more fun. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I think it's totally And beautiful. I think she wants to get into, like, stitch markers and stuff, too, so maybe we can oh, pop wonderful. some of those in there, too. I will totally. Sorry, Missy. Totally throwing you under the bus there. Totally <laughs> continue to throw you under the bus because you have them. She made us oh my bags God. at Christmas, and they were amazing. I'd love them. Her, and like, she's going to do it without zippers, which I'm super stoked about. Yes, because she listens to Miss Jocelyn about how much she hates them. So she's um, experimenting <coughs> with buttons and clips, and like I was saying, she should do some of those, like, snap band bracelet things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, but yeah, so and it's good. really nice. And, they're um, so good. Because Missy is also, she's an interior designer. I think you've said that before. Yeah, she's an so interior designer. So she's yeah. taking her, like, design ideas and, like, putting them in her bags. It's going to be great. And she's, like, a really good sewer, too. So. Yeah. yeah. Great. 
So that's exciting. Yeah, it's like Johnson Blair Show. Yes, but mine so is like, a shop. Isn't it specifically for knitting mm-hmm. stuff? Mine knitting is, plug-in without a name yet. Mine is mine is more just generalized bags. Yeah, because which are that's what gorgeous. I prefer to create. So Although, I can do knitting bags. Is what Although I'm my friend, since we were, well, we've got to think of a name for her. I don't uh-huh. know. We call her Miss V because that's how her last name starts with. Yeah. Uh, Miss V does not knit, but she came to craft club and she was like, "The bags are so gorgeous. She wants one for a lunch kit." <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Yeah. She just comes to Craft Club and hangs out. Yeah, we were totally fine. We don't with care. We don't. Yeah, cool. Just, yeah. Oh no, she comes and she brings stuff and we chat. It's a girl's night. She did. might want to come to the knitting retreat and Absolutely. just hang out. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Oh no. She does not watch those because she's not a knitter. <laughs> no, again, not offended. Yeah. My mother subscribes to me across all platforms. She doesn't watch. That's nice, I guess. She was so proud of herself because she downloaded a podcast app. I have my podcast app on my Samsung and my mom has a Samsung. Is Podcast Republic. Oh, okay. And that's how I get my podcast, like my audio yeah, podcast. I have an it, iPhone, so. it also has an RSS feed, so I can stick oh. all of that stuff, and it's in one app. <laughs> I, I just, um, cast the, mine to the TV. <laughs> fair. Uh, the one app also works with a larger size font. It adjusts oh, up to the font Oh, okay, size. that makes sense. Yeah. So for me, I can actually read it. I mean, it doesn't adjust the app buttons, but it's fine. Whatever. You figure out where those are, and it's fine. Uh, and my mom was so proud because she added her own, she did added an extra podcast to the one she follows, which is oh. Double Tap, which is a podcast about uh, tech for blind people. Cool. So it deals strictly in technologies for blind people. Very relevant. Which, very relevant. <laughs> very relevant for two women with retinitis pigmentosa. <laughs> cool, right? I, and I was like, cool. Subscribe. What, what other one did you describe to? She's like, oh, the Northern Knicks podcast. I'm like, why? You're never going to listen, mommy. She's like, I don't know. You don't know. I might. Sure. <laughs> Okay. And my mom listens to it. Sweet. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> See, and I much. prefer to watch it. I'm not going to lie. When I listen to podcasts, I'm like, oh, it's bedtime. I'm just going to go to sleep. <laughs> she, well, she's that way with audiobooks. Yes. But she seems to be doing fine with the double tap. Oh, okay. short enough episodes. Because I so. listen to audiobooks to go to sleep. So I'm like, oh, I'll just I listen don't. to Jocelyn's voice and pass out. Like, <laughs> I really don't know how to take that. So I did. On one hand, I want to go, I'm so glad my voice is not annoying because I've been told I'm a great person. I just need to not talk because my vocal cords are annoying. Oh. Retail exposes you to the most interesting people. That's rather rude. Anyways. It was. I prefer not videos because I don't fall asleep during the videos. Not quite as rude as the one lady who thought I was a great person until she saw I had a tattoo and then asked my manager why I got hired. So, like, I've had ruder. Oh, I've never had that and I have facial piercings. Oh, yeah, no, people are quite judgmental. It could have been Although the a lot of people don't notice the them. Time. But I do have oh, facial piercings. I don't know. They're right there. I don't know. A lot of people don't notice them. Now I'm like, I'm blind. I got an excuse. <laughs> Everybody else is. <laughs> now a lot of people don't uh, notice them. They say they fit into my face. So I'm sorry if anyone doesn't like facial piercings, but I do. I've had them for a long uh, time. I had body piercings till I had to have a couple of MRIs and, I and then they had to come ta- out. Yeah, I have a couple of tattoos. I've been thinking about putting them back in because I like them. Maybe for me. I'll take you to a pile. Uh, I'm designing a finishing of my back tattoo, so I'm going to do that first. And have my whole back tattooed. Possibly a half sleeve. I'm not a good influence. I'm like, yes, I'll drive you. <laughs> offered to pay for half of it. Even not better. I'm really on, on my own with this one. She's been looking at the pattern designs and going, oh, I like this element. And she's it's been, art. You know, this is art, art. And this is art. And it's art for me. It's personal yeah, it's to me. It's not for anyone else. It's not for anybody else. Yeah. If you happen to see it, it's because I'm in a bathing suit. Deal with it. <laughs> That's true. Which we're going to be this summer. Oh, gosh, yeah. i got to work on my body comfort issues. Okay. So that's, yeah, no, event-wise, that's that's about it. We may, Terry and I may make the jump to Net City. Yes, we're still negotiating. We're figuring out, A, if we can find babysitters for all of our pets across two households. <laughs> uh, Mine's is the hard one. Getting flights out is the easy part. Finding somewhere for us to stay, slightly more tricky at this point. However, Terry can drive and has lived in Vancouver. Yes. So it widens the parameters with which I have to function. We can just go anywhere. We can care. just go anywhere. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't matter. Terry's worst comes like, to worst, we'll crash at my aunt's or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> and it's going to be good. a real far drive. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, she's in, uh, no, she's in Port Coquitlam. <laughs> that's a bit of a haul. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out if we can make that work. So I may actually be at Mid City this year. Which would be amazing. Which would be Because I've never been. Uh, and I loved going, so I'd love to go again. So I'm going to start looking and doing some stuff like that last minute. Because boy knows I love to plan stuff. Uh, as for that, that's it for us really for this year. Next year, uh, there's a couple of things we're trying to aim to go do if we can on weekend trips and stuff, me and Diana. Uh, there, I'm going to try for SSK next year, which is the Super Summer Metal Long. But that's by lottery at the end of the year. Oh. So you put your name in, and then they draw names. 
and if your name gets drawn, you decide if you're going to put down and pay them. Okay. And if your name gets drawn, you put down, you pay, then you go to Nashville in the middle of summer. I must be out of my mind. <laughs> I was like, no thanks, that sounds hot. <laughs> it's going to be very hot, but I can't, I can't not go. Because it, just, it sounds like so much fun, and if we're honest and we're talking numbers and money, which is a, it's a big deal for the knitting community and a lot of this, it is actually cheaper as a Canadian for me to fly to America, stay <coughs> in Nashville in the middle of summer, and have given given all the things that are there done, even if I include a large budget for yarn, I am not coming to the total it would cost for me to go to a knitting retreat in my own province. My own province, guys. My own province. That is how bad it is. It is actually cheaper for me to do that, convert it to Canadian currency at 70 some odd cents to the American dollar right now. And that's generally where we sit. We sit like that yeah. 70 to 80 cent range. Not great, but doable. And it's cheaper for me to do that than it is for me to do anything else. It is cheaper for me to do that for me to, than for me to go to Knit City. <sighs> Hence why what? we're doing a very inexpensive one at my cottage. <laughs> what is this craziness that I live with? Yeah. Huh. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to put my name in this year and see if I can get it. I mean, I'm going to die of heat, but that's You know what? Four if days. you don't put your name in, you have no chance of going. For four days, I'll totally do it. We're also contemplating. Well, I think that's that's it, and then some, the as week. usual. And then some. Yeah, this is gonna be a longer podcast. It happens. You get to see more of our. I took a faces. week off. I don't know how not to babble at you guys. Like last Sunday when we were driving down, I was like, it's so weird. I'm not podcasting. Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird. I did not have time. Yeah. But it was so weird not to podcast. So I'm happy to be back. At the Daily Grind, is the case maybe. But we hope that you enjoyed yeah, um, yeah. some vlogs from Amsterdam. She did, because she forgot to record before she left. <laughs> she did, but that's okay. Amsterdam is so much more exciting. Oh, oh my and God. Super, a super good insert. So it was just it was really I'm well sure done, Diana. I'm sure that next week's podcast is going to be equally as long, because you guys are going to have so much to talk about. Oh, and yeah. We'll Amsterdam. have holiday talks, yeah. Uh, by the time you guys see this, my vlog will have gone up as well. Uh, which is a bit of a yarn romp. I didn't make it to the last one, so I've sort of inserted some footage at home and showed you guys my sewing room instead because I felt bad because I didn't make it to the last store because we didn't have time. So it is what it is. Because However, Midnight Cravings was just so exciting. Oh, it was so good. Everyone's like, but it's an hour outside of Saskatoon. I'm like, I live in the city of Winnipeg. It's an hour to get across the city to visit some of my friends. What's the difference? The speed at which I'm traveling. Yeah, that's it. It's totally fine. I had to let Dad check but out. But if you live uh, nearby, Manichi. I would highly recommend it, and I didn't even go. <laughs> That's what we call service. <laughs> I know. Well, thank you, Midnight Cravings, for having such glorious yarn. It's so good. So cool. All right. I'll say until next week, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Terry. Because not Diana. I'm not Diana. And no, I will say no matter where your week takes you, don't forget Get to, to knit. knit. This is not be a distance. I'm not hearing.